Hello you guys, uh, uh, today I'm gonna do a mod, it's called Taylor's Mod. Right, so what it is, I'll explain it later. Right, so what, this is a stab mod, right? So as you can see, mod, most of your stab will come up like this. And right, so when you assemble them, one of the side is, usually it's not straight, right? So look at on the left side, you see? If you tap slightly here, you see the, the left, stab moves all right let me put it closer so you can see all right yeah you see that the left hand side move a little bit all right so when you act, when you assemble this onto a keyboard it makes a, a rattle noise all right so for example like this you see here, um, I don't put it into the case. Uh, the noise will be reduced a lot, but when I put in the case, you know, the echoing between the case and inside the case make it a lot worse. Right? So, right, so we have to fix this problem. So, I'm trying to get the Taylor's mate, uh, the Taylor's um, mod to fix this problem. I'll show you how. All right. So, and you see, just to confirm, right? So this is what the problem is. One of the side moves slightly while the other side is okay oh the other side might move too i don't know all right so either of these side move and it makes bad noise later all right so i'm starting to um un um example this and i might i might fast forward this part okay Ừ, bà Long đang stream đó Pina ơi, Pina chờ bà một tí nha Pina bây Hả? Pina chờ bà một tí nha Bà Long đang stream Okay, so here's the the mod. Uh, it involves some uh, thread. Here, I use red color so that uh, it appears more in the it appears more clearly in the video. Right? And there are the parties you need a needle. All right. So what this mod is, it actually get the um, get the the stem stem hole smaller. All right. So usually you you've heard about you know pluck the Plug the butts and all that to keep the hole smaller. So, um, yeah, I'm using thread, all right, this, and needle to grab the bottom of the stems. Um, here, this part, uh, this little guy here, over here. I'm gonna guess this little guy here, all right? Little guy here, grab the thread around this part right? 
so that you know the hole will get smaller. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I started using the thread. Um, I use the nylon thread. Uh, so you know, nylon. Uh, it it appears to be more smooth than you know, the usual cloth one you know, because the wire is made of plus uh, metal, and if we put cloth inside, it it feels sluggish. Right. So let me try to put the thread inside a needle so that it's easy for us to to put the um, you know the thread through the holes of the stem all right so first Okay, so I'm done. I, I put the thread through the um, the needle and then tie a knot so that it doesn't come off. All right. So, all right. So what's next is um, you see here the stem, right? The stem. Uh, we put the needle through the stem. Um, last time I tried on this step, on this step it takes around uh, five five rounds five rounds but it didn't work right so this time i'm going to try seven right, and see what's the number of, of uh, hmm, it just came off so i have to do it again guys all right i have to tie it more carefully this time last time i only do one knot and it might have might have came off too easy Process is I'm gonna do it higher up here, okay? So I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna put the hole, the needle inside the hole, one, a few times. All right. Um, okay. Make sure you leave a few left here, so that you can tie a knot later on. All right. So now this time do seven times one. All right. Try to spread. The, the try to distribute the coverage of the thread that over the stem evenly. So by now, you guys know why it's called Taylor's um, Mart, right? <laughs> it involves needles and, and needles and thread. So that's what it is. I had one success with building one of my um, my client's keyboard, and it it sounds really good. It it, it fixes problem. I use the same stuff and use this mod, and then. It fixes problem easy, so let's see if and this is actually something that work for everything. Five. Six. Oh, the thread I use is a little bit long, so some of these
seven. All right, that be it. So after this, we do a knot. Just to be sure, let's do two knots. Make sure you tighten it a lot. You tighten it hard. Right. All right, I've, I'll fast forward the second one. Okay. See, as you see, here. See? The hole seems smaller now, because you know, there's a lot of <laughs> thread crap around it. So it should be smaller. All right, so I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna fast forward to do the second one, okay?
Thanks, Jim. Alright, now, so we're done doing both, okay, now we can follow up with um, looping them, alright, I'm gonna show you closely here how they're, how they're uh, bottom of the stems are, what are uh, tailored, <laughs> tailor mode, can you see that, alright, so don't mind a few left over, um, uh, they would not interfere too much because the thread are pretty pretty small okay, and light and now proceed with looping them as usual to put the wire inside. Okay. Right, so you, you, you might feel tight or really loose. It depends on how thick your thread are. So try if uh, six round or seven round uh, uh, wrapping is too much you know try to reduce that to you know, five or four whatever uh, needed so it's, it's required a few times of tuning okay so mine my in this case uh, I'm doing seven okay. so, so as you see it's here a little bit messy that's why we need a smaller brush to wipe away excessive loop over here you know mostly at the back right it's uh, there will not be any loop at the back of the stem anymore because you know, so since it's too tight Um, looking good enough, uh, a little bit dirty. Uh, yeah, let me clean it up. All right, so. All
looking good now. Well, let's try it again. Few tighter now. Let's see. Alright, let's see if uh, one side still got moved, you know, in balance again, let's see. Alright, now, let's see, okay. As you see, right, so, yeah, one side still moved the right hand side right so seems like six seven might not be enough it's still making ticking sound All right, I accidentally stopped right, recording after I did a few more tests around the keyboard so basically um, I thought the mod didn't work, but when I look at it closely, right, so when I push the right hand side, although it moved, but it seems like it moved the whole space bar, right, can you guys see that? Right, not just the right hand side, so the hole gets smaller, much, much smaller, right, and it moves the whole space bar, so it might work, okay, so now I'm going to put it back um, to the keyboard and see if uh, it makes a lot of noises or not. Right. Yeah, so for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna do a simple top mount for this keyboard. Screw it is. Oh yeah. It's the two M2 screw. Alright, so I'm gonna just screw a few screws only uh, because I haven't soldered this board yet, so you know. Uh, once I solder them, uh, I'll put proper, you know, all the other pieces of this keyboard together. Now, for the sake of science, let's just let's just do screw in a few and then see if it's still ticking or not. So here's our keyboard. I only mod the space bar, right? So my god. Can you guys hear that? Can you guys really hear this? It's amazing. It sounds amazing. I never. So this is the left. No ticking, right? 
middle, right hand side. And it doesn't actually feel sluggish as my holy mod. The holy mod, right, it used the bandaid, and the bandaid was made of uh, cloth, right, so usually it feels sluggish, right. Can you guys hear this? Alright, closer. Closer. Okay. Alright, we did it guys. It's called the Taylor's Mod. I came up with. Alright, it involved needle thread nylon thread not the cloth thread okay nylon one and then that's it sounds amazing guys let's enjoy this Is the background too noisy All right, so um, I'll, I'll do some capture, you know, high res capturing of the mod and uh, post it somewhere. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And if you like it, please leave us up here. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.